your name is? Kevin Beagle. So I understand you grow a lot of lavender in uh, Weir's Lane. Why is that? Well, the soil conditions at Weir's Lane, which is located in West Flamborough, Ontario, are almost perfect for the growing of lavender. Uh, we grow about 11 different cultivars of lavender there, and we also keep bees. So it just seemed, given the nature of the property and, and the type of farmhouse that we had, that lavender was going to be a perfect fit. Okay. What do you got new this year? Well, we have this body bomb that is a new product. It is a roll-on lotion. Uh, very, very well received so far this year. Um, we have a lot of new culinary products that seem to be going over extremely well. Some sea salts and some lavender peppers. And, of course, we've always had our honey. And then also new this year, we have a complete dog line. Uh, a dog line? Everything you need for your dog. Where's that? Well, we have these shampoos which is a shampoo bar, very okay. popular, and takes the odor out of just about any dog. We have a conditioning spray that goes on after the uh, dog has had its shampoo, and then an outdoor dog spray. Uh, and that's very good. Lavender is a very natural mosquito repellent, and uh, we find out that it's also good at repelling ticks and that sort of thing, any sort of trouble that a dog could get into roaming around in the bushes. So, well, that's uh, interesting, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's been uh, very well received. You have a lot of clean ingredients in that? We, it's all natural, all clean. Um, yeah, lavender by itself is one of the most natural cleaners ever made. It uh, comes from the Latin word lavare, which means to wash. And in old days, people used lavender extensively as a cleansing agent. It's a fantastic antifungal and antibacterial, and uh, just seems to go well with a, a natural line of products. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. No, it's uh, well documented. What else you got here? This, these are some of our most popular lotions. This is an omega-3 in hemp lotion with English lavender. Uh, again, very good as an antifungal and antibacterial. This one absorbs very quickly. For a little bit more of a moisturizer, we have this Shea and Cocoa Butter. And this one is, this particular one is done with French lavender. We also do it with English lavender. It's very thick and it moisturizes extremely well. For someone like me who's out working in a field, it's uh, really, really good at uh, re having restorative qualities. And then we have another lotion here. This is more of a, an everyday lotion, premium body lotion. And we do this again in both an English lavender and a French lavender. Okay. So. What else is new? Well, I was mentioning earlier about the culinary products, and we're really excited about the culinary products Culinary, this you year. can actually cook with this. Yeah. No, this is the one you cook with over here. Okay. These are the culinary buds, and this is kind of the basis for all the lavender products. So this is a vanilla and lavender organic sugar. Really, wow. really well received. And then, what, are they, what are they saying at the show regarding that? Oh, they, uh, we're, we're giving people little samples, and the taste is just beyond belief. But the, this jar started full, so I guess it's uh, uh, doing well. People, yeah, it is. And then this is a uh, um, something that we were just dabbling with. Um, we're rolling it out for the show. It's a Merlot uh, sea salt with lavender in it, um, and uh, going along with that is an applewood pepper with lavender in it. And lavender is like any herb. Uh, it's a cousin of rosemary, actually. It's best used in moderation, so it's relatively subtle, um, and you don't really want to overpower any dish with the use of lavender. So we, we just mix it in, and something like this lavender, uh, culinary lavender that I showed you before, just a few of these buds mixed in with some whipped cream and uh, spread over berries gives it a really, really unique taste. Now, okay, you put it on your food. What are the health benefits that you use them for? Well, lavender really helps with digestion. Really? Yeah. So, uh, just taken in moderation, it can uh, really kind of help with any sort of upset stomach and, and that sort of thing. Um, and we even put it in coffee. Uh, so the lavender, coffee. Yeah, the lavender coffee is a huge lavender hit. coffee. Yeah. Um, okay. A lot of people make the joke that the lavender calms you down, but the uh, the coffee gets you right back up. And the way we do the coffee is again we start off with these culinary buds, and we roast the buds in with the coffee. During the roasting process, the lavender just naturally infuses in, and uh, it, it's actually a really really unique taste. And you, you might see in some of the upper end coffee shops that there's lavender. Uh, lattes and lavender chai and that sort of thing. And then this is just our take on it. Great. So more information, your website is? We're slainglavender.ca. Thank you. You're welcome.